So today guys, I'm going to guide you into how to solo the Merc Guard Elite chest. Meaning you can come here any time of the day. Obviously it's once every 24 hours. And come up to Merc Guard, solo, and get 6, 7, possibly 8 Elite chests. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and to give back to you guys, I'm giving away 10,000 marks of fortune. To be the chance of winning these, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below. Make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. Winners will be picked from my comments section so the more of my videos you support me on, the more of a chance you have of winning. Okay, so most people know of the Merc Guard chest run, the Elite chest run. Well, I think there's a possible uh, the 6, 7, 8. I'm not sure exactly how many is here. But there's a few and obviously Elite chest drop that gives is what we all want. And today, uh, for the solo players out there, or if you're just online solo, nobody else is making the run, doing the Merc Guard run, you can come here solo and get every single chest. And it's relatively quite straightforward. I mean, there's a couple of tricky jumping spots, but besides that, it's straightforward. So obviously, guys, uh, you need to make your way to Merc Guard, as you can see on the screen now. So yes, come right here, uh, mountain or map post, or you got the old Merc Guard shrine here, and this is the whole area we'll be exploring to get those, those elite chests. Uh, but yeah, it's relatively straightforward. Like I said, there's one thing I need you to do, and that is to be using a fire staff, uh, which is very, very important also. And I'll explain one in a second, but firstly, obviously, you want to drop a campfire down here. Or activate one of these campfires as your spawn point because obviously, if you die, you want to respawn relatively close to where the elite chests are. But you need uh, the fire chest, uh, the fire chest, the <laughs> fire staff, and you need to be using burnout. Now, this is obviously that dash forward, and it's very important when we're skipping rooftops. I think the, the great axe would probably work as well, or sort of rapier when you slash forward. Can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But once you're here and you've got your fire staff ready with that burnout on, this is what you need to do. So come up this way. Now this is a video I've pre-recorded and edited to cut out the mistakes I've made. And I made quite a few mistakes trying to record this. Dropping, uh, failing, and died a couple of times. But once I got the run straight down, it was perfectly fine. So come up to here. You want to edge your left right to the end. And you want to aim for this point right here. Uh, so jump onto that. And then just basically jump over. You're aiming for that pillow or that plank right here. Uh, so yes, just walk straight to the edge and then you want to turn right here and just jump down here. Now, like I said, this is actually probably the, the trickiest one out of the, the, the entire set here. Now, what I will say is you won't be able to get the portal chests here. Obviously, you can't solo those portals. Uh, I mean, obviously, we wish we could, but it's impossible now, especially how they've made things harder. But if a team has run this, uh, well, just before you got here, there's a good chance this chest will be here for you to grab. So obviously you can't get the portal chest and because of this, the very, very last chest here where the priest is, I believe, you can't get that chest either. So this is what you want to do is the chest is literally on the other side of these things. Now, obviously you want to grab the attention, the aggro of these two enemies right here. The main guy with the sword is the one you want to worry about. Now, once he starts swinging that sword, he does have actually a, a, like a, a cooldown to him. So when he starts pointing like that, that's when his cooldown starts. That's when you want to quickly run and grab the elite chest. Now, this is where I actually made the mistake. I left it a little too late before he pointed. When he points, as soon as he points, you need to run, grab the chest, and then jump down. So you saw that little slight cut there. That's where I failed. Now, if you fail jumping onto the roof, just quickly run through here and then straight out. That's what you're going to do anyway. You're going to run straight back out. Now, if you can grab the elite chest and jump back up to the way you come from, because that's the way we're going to head again right now, that's much, much easier. But it's probably just as easy to jump down here, not risk your life and just fly past this big old dirty yoga dude and just run back to the same spot um, you just went to. So, yeah, like I said, a lot of the big guys that we will be interacting with in this video to try and get these elite chests, they do have kind of like you aggro them. Then you want to hide and they obviously lose aggro on you they do like a slight animation and they'll have a quick cooldown for about between five and ten seconds ish uh that's the time to grab that elite chest it is as simple as that and i'll explain further as we get on and go on to the other enemies so you want to jump back up here guys do the exact same thing again but this time you want to go left instead of jumping straight over so aim for that corner again right like that and then just just run left it you don't fall off and you want to jump to this far plank right here right here so yep go to the end 
go left this time and jump across and there we have it now you want to jump up to this wall right here don't matter if you don't make that you can jump straight back up now no one noticed this skip here i skipped here because i actually come forward and i uh tried to fight with a group of players to get the portal but we failed and i died so yeah you know so this is where that burnout uh well firstly comes helpful so you need to skip to this roof here and that is where the portal is right there so we're going to try and avoid that but i'll explain in a second so you want to skip across here so you land on this roof now the portals like i said there's most of the time probably going to be still active so you obviously want to avoid them as best you can and to do that within this spot because we need to get past it you need to follow this route up onto these rocks now, so jump up on here jump up there and then we run across now this well actually this is not tricky at all it's not tricky at all so you just want to jump across here now there's two chests there which uh i mean they're, they're tempting but i just don't think they're worth your time i mean i mean you can get them it's not hard you can get them probably make your way around because you need to come around this left side here the way we're going but there's a few enemies down there which could get you uh, into a little bit of bother so you want to follow this around obviously the portals there on our right you want to try and avoid that best we can let's uh, so jump over that and drop down here just to be safe because you know what if them dudes get you you're done for you see that big door there that big gateway that's where we've got to head to so we need to like we'll literally stick left as long as we avoid that dude there stick left follow the way around follow the path stick close to these houses and we are good to go we are good to go now it's probably been a little too cautious here um you don't need to be this close to the houses but you know just making sure just making sure so you will have uh grab the aggro of a couple of enemies here which shouldn't be a problem just run straight past them i mean you'll probably get clapped by one of them or two of them but you shouldn't have too much of a problem here obviously make sure you have them potions them health regen you know there's a woman here well i think it's a priestess i'm not too sure but just avoid her avoid her let's fly up these stairs just fly up these stairs people use that bear now and jump, jump onto this roof right here to our right now the second elite chest is just over this rooftop and it's the same big old dude with that big old sword and actually get lucky here I get seriously lucky because I jump down and he seemingly grabs the attention of somebody I think behind me and comes on swinging. So what you'll do here is actually shoot him, grab his attention. He will come walking towards where you are. You obviously swing that sword as he does. And as soon as he starts pointing, guys, that is your key to jump down and grab that chest. So as soon as he starts pointing, he will then turn around and walk away. You then jump down and grab that chest guys once you've grabbed that chest run back up these stairs and back onto the same roof as you see me doing on screen now getting super super lucky doesn't take my head off So yeah, once you've jumped down and grabbed that elite chest from here, guys, obviously, like I said, make your way back onto the roof and from on top of the roof, you want to run this way, obviously trying to avoid that portal best you can because you don't want to aggro that because things ain't going to end well for you. I mean, it's quite close here. I'm getting shot by enemies, but run up these stairs, guys, to the left. Straight past those enemies, straight past these enemies. And just after this, uh, this, this gateway, on your right, you want to climb up these rocks. So you want to mantle these rocks right here. Right, so now this can be a little bit of a tricky, a tricky jump, but it isn't too dangerous. I mean, it's not hard at all, to be honest. It's just once you get it down, once you know exactly what you got to do. There's one oh, semi-tricky jump here and one that's quite a tricky jump. Um, there's probably the good first time you'll do this you probably will <laughs> fall down but you fall down on the other side of the, uh, this gateway so just run back around and climb back up or mantle back up those rocks it is pretty pretty simple guys so as you can see so you had these rocks right here now you need to jump up here you want to look obviously you want to be pressing forward so pressing w on your key uh, keyboard and just jump up it's not too bad now this is the trickiest part 
So you need to get across to this roof right here. Now I've tried to cheese it kind of by trying to get on this wood right in front of me there, but you can't. You can't, you just fall off. So you need to jump and see how close. I was so close there. I was so close there to falling down. But if you fall down, like I said, you'll fall down uh, on the gate, just run back around that gate and jump back up the rocks and try again. Now this is where another chest is right here and this isn't actually this is actually quite easy to be honest all you gotta do is aggro the big dirty dude you ain't gotta worry about the woman there leave her leave her be so you want to grab the attention of this dude but hopefully you got better accuracy than me when doing it now his actual cooldown animation is so what you'll do is he like he slams his fist together so you'll like punch his hand you'll see in a quick second when i grab his attention as soon as he does that you're good to jump down and grab this chest so you'll see right about here see there you go and it's good so just jump down grab the chest don't worry about nothing else just grab the chest i mean i even tested i, I stood here for a couple of seconds just to see if she'd turn around but she doesn't seem to be aggroed which isn't a problem whatsoever so just run past this dude i mean don't get stuck like me and you want to climb up on this little this little house here or whatever that is little shed and you just want to obviously just uh, well, I'll lie down and go put on so you just obviously uh, lose the aggro if you are aggro if you're aggro this is what you must do you must lie down just sit here the troll or that big ogre dude I don't know what he's a troll ogre demon or whatever yeah so just lose his aggro then you want to run this way and blast forward can go as fast as you can people fast as you can so you want to run this way right here uh, and this is where the one main portal is uh, at the top there which you can't get unless the portal's already been ran by a group. Uh, you won't be able to grab that last chest. Uh, well, that chest anyway, it's not the last chest, so yeah. We've got, there's a little chest down there on the right, as you can see, but I'd probably activate the campfire here or create your own. I'd probably create your own as well. I normally do that and do it actually myself when I was running this, I'd create my own. But I just activated that respawn point just in case. Now, there can be a pain in the arse here, yeah? an enemy AK to do that shoot at you, yeah? but more times than not, he's not here. Now I actually thought, as you'll see, I actually thought this dude was in here, but it actually ain't. I'm trying to shoot him, it ain't working, but for some reason you can shoot the sniper dude. And he, you get his aggro and you can actually kill him here, he doesn't go into retreat mode and he gets his health back, he doesn't actually do that. You can just shoot him and kill him. So here, I learned that that wasn't the sniper dude, so what I did was I shot the, the boss, as you'll see here. He points at me, he starts swinging that shit. And he'll do it again, because I got that burn effect on my fire staff points there we go jump back straight down grab that chest you got like i said you got a few seconds to grab this more than enough time if you're quick enough and your time is right to grab it and then just run people run back uh to this uh these rocks and run straight back up here and you should be good to go guys you should be good to go so now you want to run back to where that campfire was and like I said, at the top of these stairs here on your left hand side, I mean, you can run up the stairs if the portal is being completed, you're free to grab that elite chest too. But if it hasn't, it actually blocks the way to the next elite chest, so you can't actually do anything about it. So you just have to leave that one out. So yeah, that's the one elite chest here. Besides obviously the portal ones, which you can't do solo anyway. But that's the one elite chest up there that you can't grab unless that portal has been completed. Now this is where I put my campfire down because I just want to be safe, you know just in case just in case i don't know if that one campfire is always there i think it's always been there since i've been running this but i'm not certain about that but yeah i think there's one or i think there's two more two more possibly three uh if i can recall off the top of my head i mean i've run this so many times and i still i still don't know how many is here still don't know how many is here but yeah this is where you want to run and you see there's that group that i died with earlier still trying still trying uh, or dying <laughs> so ignore that just run straight here and you want to obviously use that burnout to get onto this roof right here and you'll see here guys there's another one of those dudes with that big old dirty sword so you want to jump down here and this guy sometimes for me has a uh, a sniper dude with him you know the guys that shoot you in the ass uh, but sometimes he don't now what i did here was I actually waited because i wanted to show you what exactly what i did um so you'll see that in a quick second. I'll wait for him to come back. And then I just obviously grab his aggro. Let him like chill out and I'll shoot him. And it points at me. Start swinging. Like whoop, there's no one there but he's swinging anyway just in case he can't see them. 
There you go. Then he'll point. Now that's your, that's your, that, that's your key. Jump down. Grab that elite chest. And then just run straight past him. Don't worry about the ads. Don't worry about nobody else. Just run past him. He's obviously got the aggro from the other enemies. But don't matter anyway. Let's run. And see where this dude is. Uh, jumping up on these rocks. This is the way you want to go. And at the top here. You want to turn right. And jump onto this roof. I'm not going to lie. Cut this again here. Because I did try and help them again. But it failed. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, so obviously once you're on this roof, it's pretty straightforward. Again, I think there's, another, is there another two now? Or is there another one? I think there's one more, guys. I think, yeah, I think there's one more, guys. So you jump down here, shoot past these dudes now. There's a good chance if these other uh, players went here, there's a good uh, good chance these enemies would be chasing me. So I'll show you what I do anyway. I just run around here, jump on top of this. And then just lie down. Lie down and you'll lose the aggro. Now you see now you can't actually be hit by the dudes because this dude's got this big old dirty troll chasing him. And he's thinking, well, what do I do? But you don't get you up here. So I actually cut the video here so this guy goes out the area. So I can show you exactly how to do this if nobody else is here grabbing his aggro. But it is pretty straightforward, guys. Exactly what we did with the other big old dirty demon dude. Um, you just shoot him. And you'll see it come charging up this place comes charging up and lie down that's all you gotta do and you'll see you just punch his fists pop pop then you just jump down and grab the chest it is guys as simple as that grab it then just run out of there or get out of there and then you are good to go and that's basically it just run past this dude don't hang about because he'll kick you up the ass and kick you across the map and do you over so run past this dude and just then you're free you know there you go you've done Basically all the Merc Guard Elite Chests solo besides the one, like I said, the one at the top where that portal is there, you need to complete the portal to unblock the way. Now like I said, you can get lucky and come here and the team has just run this and there's about two or three extra Elite Chests you can grab because obviously when the portal has been completed, there's just an Elite Chest there. And if that's the case, if you come here, there isn't a, there isn't a portal there guys, like you see for me, there's going to be an Elite Chest there for you to grab, so grab that too. But there we have it guys and I hope this video helps you out. If it does, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more new world, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.